Roger. Bye. 
But today, I wasn't so lucky. I mean, it wasn't just a regular funeral, was it? Oh, Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? I had a teacher, Mrs. Dawson. I haven't seen her since the third grade. Figured she'd moved or died. I, I mean, it's not easy to lose track of someone in this town, right? And today, I'm looking at her in the crowd, all alive and healthy. Imagine, right? And the crowd was huge. It wasn't even a crowd, more like a whole river of people. I mean, you look at all of them, and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. <laughs> it's weird. There's this dead guy who's making it so an alive guy can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to say, I, uh... I really respect Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Everybody says he's a hero. But I'm just saying, I got a job to do. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job because it's not easy to find a new job in Sharpwood, right? So, uh... <clears throat> the money's right there in front of your nose. Don't bother with the change. Mr. Nash, I... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say that you, you don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean... He'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> I'm just... Uh... Oh, by the way, those uh, cigars you asked about? Mm, uh, Caesars, right? Mr. Summer said we normally don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember one day I was looking... Forget it. I don't know how long I'll be staying. Oh, I, uh... I hope... I, I mean, I hope that you won't be leaving too soon. You're like our best customer. Oh, or at least one of our best customers, am I right? I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Lots of folks are leaving. Even pale Charlie left, and he's even older than you. I, he's 90 or something. Maybe even 100. I... I... I I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I mean, have a good, good day, Mr. Nash. Hey, Lily. So we're getting rid of this thing tomorrow. Uh, what? We do what? That drawing thing in the hall. We're taking it down tomorrow? I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it off for us. Hey, might even get a couple of bucks Whoa. for it. Well, first, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. You didn't notice, did you? Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important, we're... Oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get a hanger tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. Maybe a VCR, too. W what do you think? Jesse, we are not taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well, you know, I thought we could put a snack machine here. You know, I'm tired of having to drive 20 minutes over to Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like, I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... <laughs> you see how much space that giant thing takes up? We can put a TV up, an arcade game, probably even a pinball machine. Speaking of which, my son moved in with his wife in Derry, so we've got an extra VCR. 
Only thing is, he took all his videotapes with him. So we can't- Oh no, tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. Plus, if we tell the guys that everyone's bringing in a couple of movies, then we... Look, I just need you to... Hey, what kind of movies you got? All sorts. Bloody Shirt, Bloody Shirt 2, Bloody Shirt 3, Bloody Shirt 4, Hard Boiled Women, Demons on Fifth Avenue... And you've got that movie where this pilot is flying around the Earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean, so he makes a deal with Satan, and Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons, and the skeleton general, you can't Fuck with him. Yeah, that's the wind blows into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> Goes without saying, that's every man's favorite movie. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> when I saw him at the end, when the girl throws the sword into the fire, my heart jumped out of my chest. Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. I, I swear <laughs> to God. You need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's actually a cartoon, but it's for adults, you know? This guy gets the ability to undress people with his mind. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank, and his boss is a real bitch. But the bitch has some great boobs, and she calls him over to her. <laughs> tomorrow. We'll just discuss it tomorrow. And she says there's some problem with this quarterly report. Some kind of paper got filed and wrong, and, and he asked, what this shit... What the hell, Gail? Sit down and get ready to type. We agreed. Lily, we'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even... Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. I'm the sheriff. <sighs> Lily, you do know. You don't have to be such a bitch, right? That ear's gas station closes in half an hour, so if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next ten minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. <laughs> and if I come into work in a bad mood, Just I... Just shut up and type. Okay, okay. I'm ready. And for God's sake, let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First, read what you've got so far. Of course, we won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of duty and honor and not of material gain. No, no, not just the last sentence. Read everything from the beginning. <sighs> Lily, come on. We're Read it from the top. <sighs> Dear Captain Carter, I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police department of Sharpwood right. was deprived. That's enough. I can't take it anymore. We'll just pick up where we left off. Do you think Captain Carter will even read this? <laughs> Lily, let's just finish it. And then... <sighs> they got him! The guy from the flower shop, remember? He's one of the neckties. We're sure this time. Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Well, you want to find out, or are you just going to sit there? What happened to him? Well, as far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> right. Didn't like getting out of the car, either. And he really didn't like the stairs. And when we handcuffed him, wow, that was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a chair, he accidentally- Cut the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? The sheriff asked a direct question, and I'm trying- Get out! All of you! Lily. I think it'd be best if you just- What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? Isn't it great when the commander takes a personal interest in the work? Don't you think? Okay, guys. You hear that? Let's get out of here.
could at least hide the suitcase. What? Oh, this? It's just... Charlie, shut your trap and get ready to question the suspect. Lily, I just want... I just want you to... You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand that, right? I know, Lily. I know. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. Hello, my name is Bogdan. Are you satisfied with your water supply system? I bet you're not. I am here to solve your problem. I, uh, 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 excuse me, what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Especially at our age. You go once, you go twice, and by then you've already frozen your butt off. <laughs> and it's lucky it's the only thing you've frozen off. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Uh, look, listen, this isn't my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So the homeowner will pay for everything. While you will enjoy the new toilet in warmth and comfort. Are you, uh, are you, are you selling toilets? You sell toilets at night? Don't be silly. They'll replace your whole water system. A new toilet in the house is, well, it's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> You're right, I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um, well, you see, our farm is just taking its first steps in this business, so I can only visit my customers after I'm done with my day job. But a toilet inside your house is doubly good at night, right? <laughs> Do understand your needs, sir. I myself had to run to the toilet outside for 20 years every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I... Please, go. Just... just go. I want you to leave. I know what you're thinking. You think that in such a small house there's simply no room for a toilet. But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment... Leave right now. I'm asking you to leave. I just want to save both of us some time, that's all. I know that you'll change your mind. The next time you need to go in the middle of the night, you remember me and think, Damn, that guy was right. A toilet in the house is what every adult man needs. So, why don't I've we... asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Leave. All right, all right. But I bet you won't last a week before you change your mind. I'm telling you right now, you won't last a week.